All right, welcome. We are continuing our leveling series here in Old Berg. We are freshly have hit 14. Well, done a little fishing since then. In fact, we're bearing down on 14 and a half. Got a couple of spots I want to show you. <clears throat> I think we're going to start at this first one, which is 60, no, 52, 61. And by the way, um, both of these spots that we're going to be looking at have been shared with me by people, comments on videos I've made in the stream. The Bream spot, which is the second spot we'll, we'll look at, uh, apparently a lot of people are, are fishing that at this point. So um, that may not be new to you, but this has been pretty good as well. We'll clip it 17, I think. This one has been pretty good as well. So what we're doing here is we're trying to catch Tench. And uh, we're not going to do this for long because it will be time for Bream soon. See how long we go in this video. We may come back to this one, this spot though. So um, you're basically just casting right across there into those reeds. And uh, the exciting news is... We have purchased our upgrades. I think I want to try two wheat seeds. So wheat seeds um, is interesting. It's five. Let's go up to 17. Wheat seeds are the uh, bait that when we craft right now, we're most likely to get one of the baits we can craft right now where we're most likely to get points. Um, wheat grain, sorry. And you have to get the wheat grain from, uh, what's it called? Winding rivulet? Say we're getting points in harvesting baits. So we'll continue to make that. And it seems to be a pretty decent bait. So far, at least, knock on wood, I haven't gotten any common carp or grass carp. It's all been sort of the small stuff and then occasionally a tench. In fact, between this and maggots, um, we've been, you know, getting a couple tench on them. So I want to continue to try this a little bit. And I wanted to do this on a video to see. So again, this is coordinates 5261, casting around 17 meters or so across to the other side into those reeds. And when the tench come through, the tench come through and it's pretty good. I got a two kilo tench a little earlier. Um, I know some folks uh, have caught a lot of good tench in the last day or two in this spot. So it may be worth checking out. And then that also goes for the bream spot as well. But most importantly, let me show you the new ride we bought. So in the last episode, you know, we made a lot of silver on those cafe orders, and we made a little more silver after that episode as well. We purchased a Kama Fantasia FD370. This is a feeder rod I've never used before. It's one of the newer rods added to the game. And it's a little stronger, actually, than, um, than the other two rods that we have. It's sort of an in-betweener. It's not quite as strong as the next step up, but a little stronger than the ones we've been purchasing. As you see, it goes up to 14.5 kilos. So this rod will grow with us a little bit. And I was excited to try a new rod that I've never used before. Uh, normally at this level, I would be getting three of the Asterias, but uh, we're kind of mixing it up a little bit. But we did get enough silver where we have um, our Lacertes on all three now. So we are similar strength or pretty much the same strength across all three rigs of course this rod is a little stronger but in terms of the line and the reel they're the same across all three so uh, that'll be kind of fun we can try to hone in on uh, some good spots now what we need to do is sort of moving forward we need to really focus on ooh, this is a nice little fish focus on like I've talked about in previous episodes getting our bait crafting up because once we get to garlic dough and once we can there's a nice tench see that was on wheat seeds once we get garlic dough and once we can start using leaders then when these hot bream spots come up we can really take advantage of that and uh, that'll increase our silver gain and our level gain by a good bit it's a nice way to get some good gear um, when you can get on those hot bream spots, but without the garlic dough, which is the hot bait right now for bream, and without the uh, the fluorocarbon, 
at least leaders, if not line, were at a severe disadvantage, as you'll soon see, because this bream spot I'm going to show you will be okay for us. Here's another decent little tinch, but it won't be anything like if we had those other those other things available. But tench, when they are biting, are just really good both income and experience. So that's why I'm excited about this spot because it's been a little bit challenging to find reliable tench spots lately and this one seems to be pretty reliable. And here in just a little bit, we'll go to the bream spot because the bream spot about by 20, 100, you know, by 10 p.m. or so, the bream spot will start warming up a little bit. So I wanna at least fish that one for a little while before this episode gets away from us. So, but I'm excited about our three rigs. Like it just feels good to be uh, off of the Sorrentos and off of the Sparks. Um, so we're at a, a nice spot now in the, on this free to play account. Right, this is wheat seeds, but it seems a little smaller. Might be a baby tinch. Baby Tinch. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing it. And so I was using these maggots to kinda to test against the wheat seeds. I think the wheat seeds are actually better right now for the Tinch. Both of our uh, keeper tinch have been on the wheat seeds, but I haven't used wheat seeds that much, so I'm still a little bit nervous that we might get some unwanted attention for some big fish, but uh, but maybe not, maybe not. If you look at wheat seeds, it kind of, they mention everything: roach, bleak, bream, carp, and many others. So. It seems to be a bait that uh, it's possible to catch lots of different fish on, which is definitely the case for the maggots as well. shortly trying to see if we get one more tench Nice. Got a fish on each rod as we pulled it in. I like it when it works out that way. Okay, so now we're going to 6645. Um, unfortunately, without garlic dough, without the fluorocarbon leaders or line, we may get a lot of small bream undersized stuff, but I want to at least show you the spot because as you do get garlic dough or if someone gives it to you, uh, right now, this spot is phenomenal. It is uh, actually terrific. A lot of trophies coming out and throughout the evening hours, marker after marker, if you've got the right bait and the right setup. And it's basically right here. So what I've been doing when I, when I was trying this out on my main account, I've been clipping at 17 and really kind of aiming for that log or just right of it. And if you look, we're kind of casting into this bottom dip of just under the six meter hole. And uh, that's kind of where we're casting right now. There's probably bream all over this area, but. You know what, let's try wheat seeds. We're gonna do some experimentation here. Let's try wheat seeds at first, at least. Let's see if it, what, if anything, will bite on the wheat seeds. 
in the bream hole. And then we want pearl barley, obviously. We do want to use the eight hook. Oh, I didn't shoot. I did not um, clip it. Although it's clipped from the last spot at 17 already, I think. So we probably would have been fine. Yeah. Okay. It's funny that I'm using 17 clip on both of these spots. And then on this one, we're actually going to try something really weird. Red Worm 10. So Red Worm 10, Red Worm 10 is a boily that we used to use for bream fishing at... Volkov. Uh, by the way, what I think probably would work best in this spot if you don't have garlic dough is pearl barley on two and then maybe maggots on one. But I want to test some of these other baits out. What happened to this line? Like a fish got on, brought it all the way in, and then it wasn't on anymore. But we, I wanted to experiment. So this uh, boily... And I don't know if it's going to work or not, but this Red Worm 10 boily does work on bream sometimes. In fact, we've seen trophies come out on these at Volkov. So because I can't use the garlic dough, I'm just trying to think of anything that we could try to get some of those bigger bream out. Because um, really the pearl barley and the maggots, although they're catching the bream and you can occasionally get the, you know, one kilo plus bream size, it's pretty small percentage now look in this spot right now we've got six players fishing here and just kind of notice some of them are very high level like we've got a level 35 here notice the bream that come out 2.4 3.9 1.5 so with the right setup and with garlic dough this spot is phenomenal Now, if we don't get anything on the red worm and the wheat seeds pretty quick, we'll switch those to pearl barley and maggots. But those tench are good money, especially if you can get it like around two kilo tench. You see a big jump in the silver, I feel like. Okay. That is a big pull on this nice new rod. Doesn't this rod look great though? I'm so excited about trying out a new rod here. I don't know what this is to be honest. It does not feel like a bream. I mean it may be but that is not what it feels like. No? Is that an eyed? Okay. That's kind of fun. Alright, let's, let's go again with that. <laughs> let's Let's see round two on the wheat seeds. Eyed, huh? Okay. How many more? Sorry, I keep saying wheat seeds. It's wheat grain. So at some point, we're going to have to travel back and get some more wheat grain. If for nothing else, just to level our crafting of baits more. All right, this is the pearl barley. So this feels like a small one. Starting at this time of night, all the way until about 7 a.m., maybe 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m., it was like 90% or more of the fish, of the bream, were, were big, like above a kilo. I mean, it, this really is a great spark with spot. Again, you're going to want either 9.8 fluorocarbon line, something like that, or at least 9.8 or somewhere around there, Floor, fluorocarbon leader, regular bream ground bait size eight hook or thereabouts and then garlic dough is your bait but you should be in pretty good shape there all right i think we caught our first fish on the um red worm boily as well so is this a bream or is this another yeah that is a bream a little small though but we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep with the with the grain the wheat grain keep giving it a chance all right this is the first one on the boily I think it's going to be small too, unfortunately. But we'll keep going. Let's keep testing it to see how it compares to what's coming in on the pearl barley, which is our middle line. 
So far, it looks like it's no better. Except for that eyed. Except for the eyed. And the bite rate might be slower. There's, there's pearl barley again. Okay. Might be a marker. Oh, it's a roach. Okay. So far, I'm impressed with the bite rate of the wheat grain. One eyed, one bream, but it's not been that long to get the bites. Let's see what this is. Small. It's another eyed. Huh. Might be onto something with the eyed here. Now, eyed, I kind of like going up to size six hook on the eyed. Um. Maybe we consider doing that. It says it does catch roach though. I haven't seen a lot of roach getting on the grain, but. Looks like the red worm boilies are trying to go again. Yeah, there they go. A bit of slack in the line, so maybe we should just pick it up and see if it's on there. It's blowing in the wind now. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Talk to me. Talk to me about your feelings. I like it. It's a marker. The thing to remember about these uh, boilies. is they are, if you buy them here at Old Berg, it comes with 30 boilies, because it's the smallest size. And, but it costs, what was it, almost 11 silver? So you do need it to perform reasonably well, since it's a little more expensive bait, to still have that decent um, profit margin. So, I mean, obviously, if it catches 95% undersized bream, like pearl barley seems to, then because it's so much more expensive, it's probably not worth it. But if it does just a little better, then it might be worth it until you can craft garlic dough. And the other thing we'll be able to do soon, if you look at our bottom fishing, we're already 43.6%. 45 is not that far away. And so being able to, leaders are not too expensive. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to find them. They might be out of stock. But if we can find them, um, that can be a really nice, nice, uh, ooh, another nice fish off of the boilies. That can be really good if, um, if we can get those leaders. That'll help a lot. Yes. Okay. I'm starting to. Starting to feel good about these boilies. Might use them times two. Take the wheat grain off or take the pearl barley off. Might be a, uh, a way for a lower level player like this account to deal with not having access to garlic dough just yet. All right, wheat grain. Let's give wheat grain one more fish. And if it's another undersized or non-bream, unless it's a marker eyed and then we might. <laughs> but if it's, if, it's, if it's not good, I think I'm gonna switch that one to the boilies as well. Got some red worm. I'm telling you, 
those boilies are doing some work. Oh, I on the boilie. Nice. Okay. Need to make some ground bait. Oh, we've got a moment here. Do we have a moment? I think we do. Yeah. Okay. And of course, bream ground bait is working best or really good here, but because we are nowhere near making green ground bait, bream ground bait, the substitute that we use seems to be doing fine. Let's check our polls after this one. 11.1. I don't know, there's more slack in, in the number two line, I think. Yeah, so this is Pearl Barley's chance to redeem itself a little bit. Yeah, we've still caught nothing on Pearl Barley that's been a keeper. We'll try to hold out on the wheat grain before switching it. one for for now awesome I think we got a point every time we made one tonight everybody's bite rate has slowed down oh, it looks like pearl barley might have something again this might be the advantage of pearl barley is we're getting a higher bite rate this might just be barely a marker. Nope. Goodness. But if you see in chat, Kilo and, and Higher Bream continue to come out. Finally, we... Uh-oh. Holy cow. No reason to be in the red. It's just because the fish is pulling. When it's not pulling, it won't be anywhere near the red. I cannot wait to see what this is. I hope it doesn't come off. This is wheat grain. It might just be a really nice eyed could be a bream or it might be something else that we haven't seen on wheat grain yet whatever it is it's getting tired quick it's not a it's not a grass carp or a common carp I don't think I think we're gonna be able to lift this thing right out of the water and pull it in Oh, wow. <laughs> we let it down a little bit and it started swimming. All right, can y'all tell what it is? It's an eyed. You can see the pink on the front of it. It's a nice eyed too. I'm going to have to keep this wheat grain in there. 2.1 kilo. 
to 900 XP. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna have to keep it in there. This is fascinating. We've got three interesting baits in there, right in the water right now. And again, maybe we should go to size hook on the wheat grain. I didn't know that I'd were going to be biting this actively. So we could get eyed off the boilies and, and with boilies, you know, it, it sort of would make sense to get a little bit bigger hook with the boilies too. Maybe, maybe we get stay at eight on the pearl barley and go to six on the boilies and the wheat seeds. I don't know. Sorry, wheat grain. I'll never stop saying that. All right. I think that's our first marker bream on pearl barley. I like it. So another thing that I want to catch you up on is we did decide to put one point in in um, ground bait. So we're going to start, you'll start seeing the quality of the ground bait will go up significantly. All right, let's see what this is on the wheat grain. Something very small. Baby eyed. So I think the wheat grain is, is uh, it was doing good with the tench and it seems to be targeting eyed in the deep in the hole right in the, in the evenings. <clears throat> so if you're really trying to get bream, as would make sense in this spot, then, and you don't have access to garlic dough yet, then, then maybe either pearl barley straight across, maybe one maggots, or you could try these boilies that have honestly not had the same bite rate the red worm 10 boilies it's not had the same bite rate but it's had a higher percentage of markers much higher than the pearl barley percentage wise now this one looks a little small but uh overall it's been it's been pretty good so i don't know maybe go two pearl barley one red worm boilies i don't know Trying to decide if I was really just going to focus on bream, what would I, I think, right, I think I would try, the maggots just get, every once in a while you do get a marker bream on maggots though, you just never know, and maggots will catch other things too, so it's just kind of what you're wanting to do, but the pearl barley, and it seems these boilies focus in on the bream a little bit more, and, and this is a really good bream spot right now, so that's kind of worth doing. And as you've seen, the wheat grain, the bite rate is really slow um, as it got later. Earlier in the evening, it was nice, but as it got later, it definitely slowed down. I think we're going to have a, a, a peak again, though, past 4 a.m., kind of till about 6 or 7. We should see a little better bite rate. Those 500 gram bream, if it was garlic dough, especially if you had fluorocarbon liters, they would be 1.5 kilo. At least. Now maggots probably has the highest bite rate, but again, not all that is going to be bream. Catch more roach. Might catch an occasional rough or bleak or something like that.
I'm going to have to check our lines here shortly. We could have something just sitting there that's about to get unhooked. Uh, let's see which one is that. Okay, it looks like Pearl Barley's got a fish on for sure. Small fish. Alright, the boilies. Ooh, hold everything. This might be a nice one. Two kilo plus, maybe. Try not to pull on it too aggressively. Yeah. It's pretty nice. 2.8. That is huge for the level that we're at, both in terms of XP and money. So nothing's on this wheat grain, huh? All right, let's switch this over. Well, let's first, let's catch this fish. Let's switch it to the boilies. Oh, a white bream, now that's nice. Yeah, do that again. So maybe during the daytime, I don't know. I typically bite in the similar times as bream, to be honest, so I don't know. All right, red worm. Actually, let's go to a, do we have a six hook? Yeah, it's okay. Let's try this. Not a lot of time left on the bream fishing, but just a little bit. It's the back one. feeling <laughs> had a feeling something might have been on this little guy now once we get to 8 a.m. it's just it gets a lot smaller let's just double check this one as well Let's see if any trophies came out recently. Two point two, two point one, two point three. Somebody got an eel, one point three, one point three, one point seven, one point six, one point one, one two point oh, one point three, one point two, one point eight, lots of ones. So without, I, I've, I tested this one night on my main account and I did not catch a trophy and it was 150 something silver or 140 something. I think that was with one cafe order. So it's maybe like a hundred silver plus the 40 on the cafe order. Uh, either way, it was, it was nice. This is on the pearl barley, by the way.
Miss a keeper. One point four. You know, if you told me that just having pearl barley times three out here, just giving you an opportunity to have a higher bite rate and see more fish, like if you told me that that was your strategy, I mean, I think that might make sense to me. These boilies are fun. I just like kind of trying new baits and seeing what's going to happen, but we haven't quite caught the amount of fish that maybe we could have. And now everything's going to start getting smaller, I think. Oh, there we go. Size six hook. See if it does anything different. Doesn't look like it. Before we stop, let's go back to that other spot and see if we can't get some morning t tench. Let's wait till it hits just about 8 a.m. We'll give Bream a little bit more time, but not much. Because past 8, it really does slow down significantly. So we are now over 14 and a half in terms of our level. So we need to earn some silver and then at some point with some silver in our pocket we need to travel back to winding and um, buy a bunch of ingredients for bait and ground bait. that time of morning suddenly it just all gets smaller Back to 5261. And we won't stay here too long. We'll f wrap this up pretty soon, but it might be worth just seeing if we can get a few more decent fish here. enough same clip so obviously the concern about fishing in this spot is when we do finally hook into a grass carp if it runs from us to the left unless we want to get spooled we're gonna to have to alt f4 so you're just living on the edge a little bit but if you're willing to use Alt F4 or if you're just willing to get spooled every once in a while, I mean, the tents are valuable. So as long as it doesn't happen too, too often, it's probably worth it, but it's a bad feeling for sure. Once we get our ground bait up to 15%, which we're getting close now, 
um, we will be able to make ground bait that is more appropriate for going after tench. I'm not sure that it's possible that using the ground bait we are, it might even be slightly hurting our chances to catch, we gotta get some more food, catch tench. Again, maggots, worms, bread, some of the stuff, just the fight rate, so good. A little gibble. A little gibble interested in our wheat grain. Oh, it's so nice when you get a point in harvesting baits using a shovel at this point. I mean, it is just literally saving you silver. need to recast that first line we've gotten fish multiple fish on the other two lines and no bite on the first one there's a tench that's what we're looking for don't be afraid to recast your lines if you're not getting a bite go ahead and get a fresh piece of ground bait on there and just reposition it sometimes that makes all the difference oh wow that's weird. Really small fish like jumped on as we were reeling it or it was on there and the game wasn't recognizing it. Somebody just caught a weekly record tench. 5.008. It's interesting right now because tench are biting a lot of different things. Like there's not a agreed upon best bait right now. Look at that, at bear on Nordic Esterberry, it's the top one. But Old Berg, we're seeing night crawlers, cottage cheese dough, which by the way, cottage cheese dough is pretty good on tench right now. And that is one of the baits that we get to before too much longer. We'll make a lot of semolina and then we'll be at garlic dough. That's what we're gonna be spending a lot of silver on in the next few episodes, most likely. I can't wait to try semolina again. It may not be any good now, <laughs> but um, I actually liked semolina a lot at Old Berg um, back in the day. I don't know how it will do now.
Crucian. I would say cottage cheese is not right now, at least with the state of the fish preferences, bait preferences right now, cottage cheese is not as much of a game changer as garlic. Garlic dough is, but at times cottage cheese is just as good as garlic dough, if not better, at times it has been. So it's, you know, it's, it's potentially just as exciting to get to cottage cheese as it is to garlic dough, just according to how fish preferences go. And again, we'll, hopefully try to get a lot of tench um, once we do get garlic dough open according to what level we are and according to where we're fishing but sorry cottage cheese i think i just said the wrong thing so I had garlic dough when i meant to say cottage cheese there about tench when we open garlic dough if some of these bream spots are still hot we're going to be using those fluorocarbon leaders if they're in stock <laughs> or we'll just fish without them if they're not and we're going to be hitting those bream come on let's get one or two more exciting fish here before we have to wrap it up And I think, you know, one of the fun things... Oh, there's another point. That's so good. One of the fun things about this game is you can sort of go back and forth. Like, at times, to me, it's just more fun to try to target fish, like what we're doing right now. We're trying to figure out, okay, what's going to catch the most tench? What spot, what bait, what hook, what line, whatever. Or what's going to catch the most bream? But then at times, it's fun just to find a really hot spot and catch a wide range of different fish. I think targeting fish and when you can do it well makes you the most silver. But just in terms of fun, having fun playing the game, it's good to go to just one of those hot spots, go down the pond, whatever, and just fill your net up, catch 100 fish in an hour. <coughs> Especially at this level, it's, it's, it's part of the fun. And that's how your first trophy will sneak up on you. All of a sudden, Crucian or Gibble or Roach or something out of nowhere. I think it'd be pretty cool if on this account our first trophy was a bream, but there's no telling. Whoa now. Please be a tench. Can y'all tell? It might be more crucian. I don't know. No, it's a tench. Nice. 1.1. I like it. And that was, by the way, on wheat seeds. So we continue to occasionally catch tench on the wheat seeds. To the point in which I would say, if I was going to do this again, or next episode, if we're fishing in the spot again, I may just go wheat seeds three across. So as someone mentioned in the in the in one of my previous videos you may have seen the comment i'm starting to get used to it as well i think it's a good idea if you if you're landing if you're clipped or you're fishing in a certain spot and you land it where you want it hit enter twice to close and then reopen the bail and then at that point it disregards the clip i guess is what's happening and so you're not dragging the bait across the bottom towards you out of position you're keeping it right where you are if you're turning your rod. If you're not turning your rod, 
and that's not a concern but Now it's open. The line just very smoothly and gently pulls out as we turn the rod. I do think though, if when we hit 15% ground bait, that might help us get a little higher percentage of, of tench because we'll start using, um, we'll start using a sunflower oil attractant with maybe just like uh, feed in it is what the suggestion was uh, of the person. I think someone that commented in the video was saying that they caught a trophy in this spot and they were using a ground bait consisting of feed and sunflower oil. I think it was the only things they had in it. So uh, that may that may help us dial in even more on the tench. That might help the maggots do a little better too on the tench, I don't know. All right. I think next fish we're gonna start packing it up go see how we've done in terms of making money. I did, um, I think I did the bream order on this account a little while ago before I started recording. So I'm not sure what's left in the cafe that we'll actually be able to fill. Maybe nothing, but we can at least look. And I bet we'll have made, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Maybe between 40 and 50 silver, even without a cafe order? I don't know. I think that's possible. I might even be under underselling it. All right, let's dig a little more. If we don't get a fish on, then we'll just reel them in. So if you want to even be more aggressive about digging for pet points and for your worms and red worms, obviously the more points you put in it, the better, but also uh, drink a Coke, drink a soda, drink a coffee, drink a tea, eat some cheese, you know, do something that's gonna give you energy and, uh, before you start digging and you can just dig straight for you know a minute or two. And the energy you're gaining from feel like it might have been like if I would drink a coffee and eat a bite of cheese or something like that I could dig for a couple minutes straight without getting low on energy it's pretty cool so if you want to be more aggressive with it there are some tricks to so that you don't lose energy as fast and keeps you from digging Unfortunately, we ended here sort of in the hottest middle part of the day. If we had waited a couple more in-game hours, I think this spot would have picked back up pretty good. But I kind of like these two spots together, or two spots like this, where you can at night get some pretty decent bream and uh, other random stuff. And then during the day, you can at least go for tench and have a chance of getting a couple. And tench is one of those fish, like... As you've seen in these videos, it's pretty often that those random like tench orders come up where it's just catch one, catch two. You know, it's not real demanding. Okay, so yeah, earlier I did the bream order. We didn't have any monster roach. Oh, we did have the eyed for the eyed order. That's 12 silver just for that one fish. That's awesome. Um. You know, I did catch a three kilo grass carp earlier, but that order wasn't up. Way short on everything else. And there's no way we want to catch a 20 kilo common carp right now. 
<laughs> on this gear. Okay, so yeah, almost 60 silver plus the order. So another good, good time fishing. Um, yeah, so trying to think if there's anything we want to purchase. You know, there's so many things. Oh, let's check and see, because I need to know what leaders are in stock. So next time we go um, bouncing around, we'll know to look at other places too. So a 9.7 fluorocarbon liter is obviously way too big for our gear. But look at the diameter, 0.42. It's bigger than our mono. So I don't think it would be worth using that, but man, all those leaders. So that tells me that probably, probably at all of the lakes that we can go to on this account, those leaders are gonna be out of stock. And the cheapest fluorocarbon line, we can't use micro. So we could get 5.4 for 65 silver. Once we have garlic dough, I know it may seem crazy. But I'd be willing to bet that our bream performance would just get skyrocketed. I don't know, we'll see. We'll test it without it and then maybe we'll splurge and get one and try it. All right, before I forget, let's buy some food. We're not gonna be traveling anywhere next time, so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase food here. Um, I think for now we'll stay with the bread. There's still that small chance that the bread could give us, uh, making the bread could give us a point, so. Let's get a couple loaves there. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I feel like we're getting more and more dialed in here at Berg. Hopefully showing you some, giving you some good ideas on different ways to level as you're uh, moving through this level range. And I'm certainly having a lot of fun making these. So thanks as always for your support. I've loved seeing all of the, the comments and people checking out the videos. So thanks as always. Until next time.